Hello and welcome. I'm Arumba. Thanks for watching. This is a mini tutorial on how to remove the end date or modify the end date for the Crusader Kings 2 game. So to do this, we'll need to go ahead and open up the Crusader Kings 2 directory. First, um, there's two ways that we could do this. One, we could create a mini mod, which I've, I've already created a video on. You could check that yourself if you'd like to figure out how to do both things at the same time here. Or we could modify the game files directly. In this video, I'm just going to modify the game files directly. So we're going to navigate to our installation directory. This is going to be your, most likely if you used Steam, your Steam, Steam Apps, Common file. You're going to go into here, and then you're going to go into the Common folder. In the Common folder, there are two files that are called Defines. We want the one that is called Defines, and it's not a Lua. It's this smaller file. It's just one kilobyte. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. This shows the start date of the game, uh, start date of the game, so that's September the 15th, 1066, and then the last start date is the latest into the game that you can start, and then the end date. So this tells the game that when this date rolls around, we end the game. So let's say I want to play for an extra 400 years. I just change it like that. Now, when 1453 rolls around, it will not end the game. There's a few things that I want to warn you about, though. One is that the longer you play, the slower your game is going to run, because it keeps all of the characters that have been generated through your entire gameplay in the files. That's a lot of characters and a lot of information for it to keep track of. However, the other factor you have to be aware of is that technology is supposed to grow at a fixed rate depending on the year. So after 1453, there's no files uh, that kind of specify what's supposed to happen. So pretty much everyone's going to have maxed out technology. It's not going to be balanced anymore. And um, it's just something that you might have to consider modifying as well. For instance, if you want to have more time, you might have to expand out the play time. And then also, in another uh, demonstration, I could show you how to modify the technology. So just some things to consider. Now, if I save this, this is going to give me a new checksum because I've saved the actual game files. I've changed them. So I'll put a link in the description of this video to my how to create a mod file. And um, you can use that so that you don't have to create a new uh, checksum. So thank you so much for watching. Hope this was helpful.